It's something I kind of thought up. I wanted to have buckles on my boots and I thought that would be really cool and different, but I didn't want to commit to uh, just gluing them on so that it was permanent because I actually really love these boots. They're from Public Desire and I didn't want to ruin them. So a lot of times you have a shoe and it's a nice shoe already. There's nothing wrong with it and you don't want to mess it up, but maybe you want like to play around with different ideas. So this is a good one if you have commitment issues like me and you don't want to fully like ruin the shoe and you want to just kind of try something new. So what we're going to do is kind of make a strap, but we're going to make it blend right in with a buckle on top and it's going to be a cool little, little like give us a little 50s mod vibe, but it's going to be really cool and I'm excited that it's removable. I learned something that I didn't know. I'm sure a lot of you already knew this, but Joanne's Fabric has, I'm sure every fabric store has it, but Joanne's Fabric has an area where it's like remnant fabric. So like random measurements of fabrics. I think this was like 0.55 yards or something. And they give it to you at a discounted rate. I was searching everywhere for the perfect fabric. I wanted to find the fabric that matched this exact fabric. It was, I think this is like a crushed velvet. So I wanted the band to be like seamlessly blend in with the shoe. I didn't want it to kind of stand out. So I was looking for the right fabric and I got this, which matches perfectly and I'm so excited. So I recommend if you're looking for fabrics to go to like the clearance bin or the bin with the remnants of like random measurements of fabric and you might find what you're looking for. So this was $3, I was very excited about that. So you need a fabric that's gonna match whatever shoe you're going to use for this and then you're going to need a stretch band and you're gonna need buckles and a glue gun. That's kind of all you need for this DIY. It's gonna be easy. It's going to be removable. It's going to make your shoes go from here to here. But then if you want, you could bring them back down here. You have options, guys. We're giving you options today. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is take the elastic band and you want to wrap it around the shoe. So here's where you're going to measure the size that you need for the shoe. You don't have to put it on to do this. You just need to wrap it around. And then the part where it overlays, you want to mark that part because that's when after when you go to glue it that's where you're gonna glue it so that's just a reminder and for you to know where to glue it so you're gonna do it on that on one side of the band and then you're going to do it on the other where the two points meet now that you have your two marks you're gonna go ahead and cut the outside mark now it's time to bust out the fabric. Make sure you have the fabric on with the inside turned up because when you glue it, you want to glue it on the inside of the fabric and not the outside. Don't make that mistake. And what you want to do is you want to glue it so that you can see the line of where you're going to overlap the fabric. So you don't want to you want to glue it on the side where you have it marked. And you just add glue to the entire back side of the fabric. And then you bring back out the fabric and you just glue it right on there. You don't have to glue it in any particular way, just glue it and press down firmly. Once it's nice and glued on, you're just going to cut around all the edges. I left, I cut a little bit close to the fabric because when we overlap this fabric, you want to still be able to see your mark because you're still going to need that. So you don't want to cover the complete backside because you won't be able to see your mark of where to overlap the fabric. <music> So 
so I didn't cut that very pretty but that's not really important um, what is important is that when you glue along the edges you want to make sure to pull it tight right up around the edge of the stretched band because it's already a straight line so you will already have that straight defined line as long as you make sure you pull the fabric taut when you're gluing it <music> So I just went over my line one more time because I just want to make sure that I could really see it. Um, I just don't want it to rub off so if you need to just go back and add more to the line I recommend doing that. And the next step is to add the buckle. So you're just going to slip it through as I'm demonstrating and what you want to do is make sure the little hook is straight up. You want to make sure the buckle part is straight up because what you're going to do, the fabric is very easy to pierce. You're just going to pull it right through the fabric. You also want to make sure the buckle is centered right in the middle. And just kind of eyeball making sure that you have the same amount of space on both sides of the band. And then, this is where your mark comes in handy. You're gonna use your mark, it's gonna tell you where to glue it. I'm gonna demonstrate here, right there. And you're gonna glue up until that point and glue the two sides together. And there you have your band. It's really cool that you can slip it on and off the shoe whenever you feel like it. And that's the last step. You just slip it on the shoe and you're ready to go. Of course, you always have the option if you want to glue it on and make it permanent, you can always just glue the band onto the shoe. If not, you can leave them removable and rock your shoe two different ways. If you like this DIY, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share it with your friends. I'll see you guys next time.